Today's video is going to be replacing the radiator on the Saturn view. If you can see in there, the radiator pretty much just exploded. You'll get a better view once we take it out. You know, here you can see. millimeter pull the tab out press the button and slide it off 10 millimeters for the headlight. Two plugs, same thing. All I gotta do is pull back on the security tab and then press and pull. millimeter for the AC condenser bracket. Nine thirty seconds for this bumper bolt. One right in the middle, holding the front bumper. Squeeze the tabs from the back, push it through, pry this harness off. And you can go ahead and pull this harness. Pull the leader. And there you go. Now we have access to the radiator and condenser. Fourteen millimeter for the radiator mount. There's the upper transmission cooler line disconnected. Here's a lower cooler line. There's a lower radiator hose off. Make sure you got a pan, mat, everything that you can so you don't make a mess. The fans are held on by one bolt 
on the top right and then one on the top left and then they just slide into the bottom 10 millimeter Then you let the fans up. So the left side is disconnected. Passenger side, lift it up, slide it, slide it off. Now it's disconnected from the right. And here's your radiator. Here's our new radiator versus the old one. The cooler lines already have a replacement o-ring inside. We just got to lube it up and the retainer is already installed. There's a little ramp on the cooler lines which will expand the retainer and it will lock in once you push it in far enough. So let's go ahead and install the radiator. Make sure you transfer these stands from the old radiator over. This is what the radiator sits on. Now with the radiator sitting on its groove, we're going to slide the fans into their slots on the radiator. And on the driver's side, same thing. There you go, snug it up. That's snugged up. Now we can do the upper radiator hose. Up right down, it'll click into place. I'm gonna put some fresh trans fluid to lube up the new seal. Line up the trans cooler and press it in. You'll hear it click. The upper one is good. Now we can install our lower cooler line. Lower one is clicked into place. Snug it up by hand. Alright, got the condenser mounted to the radiator, mounted to the fans. That's all situated. Now we can go ahead and put our bumper back on. All right, now we fill it up. You can go ahead and start the car and check for leaks. So we go ahead and start it. Put the heat on high so we can bleed the heater core. There's no temp gauge, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on it. Now we just check for leaks. You don't see anything on the floor, so we should be good. We'll go ahead and bleed the whole system. I got a blue driver scanner, so I can keep an eye on the temp as it's bleeding. We'll wait till the thermostat opens, making sure that it's cycling coolant throughout the system. The upper hose, 160. And this is just sitting idle. Now I'm going to go ahead and go for a drive. There's no fluid on the ground, so we're good to go. All right, put a few miles on it. So far, the high is 205. You can see I'm getting heat out of the vents. And that's how you replace the radiators on these Saturns. Hopefully the video helped you. You have a good one.